Hi Aquarius and welcome back to Appalachian Tarot. I'm so glad that you're here with me this week. Uh, if you are new to the channel, welcome. I'm very, very glad you're here as well and I look forward to you joining us every week by subscribing to this channel. So if you don't mind doing that, I would really appreciate it. And while you're at it, go ahead and like this video and if it resonates or you think it will resonate with another Aquarius in your life, share it with a friend. This is a reading for the collective sign of Aquarius. However, that resonates with you. So sun, moon, rising, whatever the case may be. I would also say that our cross watchers are very welcome here as well. So Aquarius, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the reading with a Seasons of the Witch Oracle card, as I always open these readings with a Seasons of the Witch Oracle card. But I do want to say before we begin that this is a collective reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. It's just for another Aquarius who is watching. Use your own intuition to determine when the universe is speaking to you through me and through the cards. Not everything is going to be for you, and that's all right. All right. Oh, golly. Okay, Aquarius, we're going to start here. <laughs> um, you got, I'm blushing a little, uh, sex magic. <laughs> I draw on my body with an invisible blade carved with the bliss of lustrous teeth. It is in the allure that I will meet blood and flesh. All right. What a, what a, what a special card that is. Let's go to the book. Um, let's see what it is that the universe is trying to say to Aquarius. Sorry, I'm just going to maximize that so I get a better view of what you're seeing. And can I sit this here without burning the card? I think I can. All right. Sex magic. Not sure I've uh, pulled the sex magic card before in a reading, but here we go. Your keyword, Aquarius, is uninhibited. Well, I would say. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and let's let's start this. Okay. Among many cultures, and for years, women have been forced to deny their sexuality either through objectification or by the patriarchal system attempting to limit their sexual gratification. Women who did feel free to express their sexuality were judged and exiled, and many were labeled witches, as though that was a dirty word. Witches are often thought to be lustful women who give themselves up to the devil. This imagery is rooted in some truth, for sex magic is a real and useful tool, although it has nothing to do with evil. Also, witches are certainly liberated, but be they male or female. Sex magic simply harnesses the creative energy of passion and the restorative energy of orgasm as a way to power your deepest desires. Consider this your initiation. You are being guided to disinhibit your spirit so you may move forward in a natural and authentic way. Those who do not understand your freedom are limited by their own self-consciousness and social constraints. Likewise, those who do not support you in acting upon your desires are lashing out for fear of not fulfilling their own. Their lack of freedom attempts to box you in because they are not ready to receive such a gift for themselves. Sad as it may be, their lack of enlightenment is not a reason to keep your soul bound in solitarity. If you find yourself among those who do not support your passion, now may be the time to self-exile and seek more illuminated and open-minded relationships. Okay, first of all, I'm a little surprised that we would get a card about lacking inhibitions and letting inhibitions go because uh, Aquarians, and, and I count myself among them because I am an Aquarius, uh, we tend to be proudly individualistic. Like, we're, we're, we're very, very much, like, we are individuals. Like, we, we, we pride ourselves on being authentic and true to ourselves. Consequences be damned. So, I don't know what it is that uh, is inhibiting you, Aquarius, but go ahead and meditate on that. While I shuffle the tarot as we head into the Celtic Cross, we're going to get into this and kind of find out what the universe is, 
is trying to say to you. But in the meantime, go ahead and meditate on the sex magic card and um, see what, what the universe wants you to let go of. What inhibitions the universe is telling you let go of. Deep breath in. Hold. And exhale. Do that a couple more times for me, Aquarius. Let's go ahead and fill those lungs with air. We are an air sign. We need our air. Everyone needs air. But Aquarians, especially, I think it helps to do breathing exercises. You just keep meditating, Aquarius, while I shuffle. If you hear a squeak, my dog has gotten his toy and is about to begin playing. I do apologize, but I'm not going to stop him because we're letting go of inhibitions. And so if my dog wants to play with his little lamb, he can play with his little lamb. I don't mind, and I hope you won't either. Just keep meditating. I haven't gotten a sign from the universe to quit shuffling yet. Sometimes they want me to shuffle a long time. Sometimes it's pretty quick. Cut. we go. Oh. The Hierophant reversed. Okay. This was in the same position exactly in Capricorn's reading. Okay, Aquarius, here we go. This is you now. This is, this is you at this moment. Um, I think there are some beliefs that are holding you back, Aquarius. I think that you are you are really beginning to rethink your life, whether this is rethinking your approach to politics or religion or sex, as it may be, with the sex magic card, uh, love, uh, work. I don't I don't know. the The Hierophant is a card of tradition and institutions, beliefs like deeply personal beliefs, like religion and politics. Reversed, it tells me that you're beginning to challenge orthodoxy, that you're beginning to rethink positions, that you're having maybe a crisis of faith, things you thought were true, you're beginning to realize are untrue. I'm not entirely sure. This could be telling you to go ahead and, I mean, the card did say if you need to surround yourself with people who are uninhibited, you know, you could be someone who is leaving some sort of... Uh, institution or organization where you feel like you can't be your authentic self that's the same that's the same thing that came up i mean capricorn got i think capricorn got love magic instead of sex magic you're getting sex magic but it's it's like it's the same reading let's keep going what's blocking you the ace of pentacles yeah, uh, you're afraid to leave this behind, whatever this is. And again, pa Capricorn had the Ace of Pentacles as well. They had it in a different position, but I mean... Um, yeah, golly. Okay, um, I, I do get the feeling that you are stepping... Like, you're ready to blaze a new trail. You're ready to really make some waves. You're, you're not afraid of... You're not afraid to be a leader and to stand out and to be yourself. You are a little uninhibited already. You're an Aquarius. You're stubborn. You're, you know, we're fixed sign. 
um, but we're also bold individuals. Um, but I do get the feeling you're afraid of what you're going to be losing by doing this, that you're afraid that you're going to be losing the security and comfort that has come with whatever this is that you're giving up and walking away from. I don't know what that is, Aquarius. Let's keep going. Oh. In your immediate past, you have the Three of Swords reversed. There's a lot of pain in your past. Heartbreak. So I'm not necessarily sure yet that it's romantic heartbreak. I feel like there's a group or an institution or a belief that's been causing you pain, internal pain. I get the feeling that some of you have some spiritual or religious trauma in your past that you're beginning to reckon with. You may be, again, this, this, is, this came up in Capricorn's reading too, you may be in a very orthodox religious tradition and you're beginning to question that and beginning to think it's time to deconstruct some of those beliefs. That could be what brought you to my channel. You could be beginning to think about tarot and um, other forms of witchcraft and the occult and perhaps you're coming from a very strict traditional Christian upbringing or denomination where you're afraid that people won't accept your, your, your new interest or you're beginning to question whether those beliefs are true, you know, like those orthodox religious beliefs are actually, you know, that, that, that are very sort of rigid and judgmental are actually very true or if they're just a way of maintaining control over people and you're ready to, to release your inhibitions and to let your true, your true self shine in a way that you can't because you've been taught to hide and diminish what you are and who you are. Let's keep going. Oh my God, the Knight of Swords in your immediate future. And this is another card that came up in Capricorn's reading too. This is Aquarius and Capricorn energy. It's like a cusp card. Um, if you don't change course, Aquarius, I don't think that things are going to improve. I think you're going to continue to let yourself be talked down to by people who don't have your best interests at heart. I get the feeling that there is someone who is in a position of... Um, position of authority perhaps or somebody who you who isn't in a position of authority but whose opinion you value who is really trying to keep you from letting go of your inhibitions and letting you know walking away from whatever this situation this organization this group this belief is and um i think you need to tune that person out or those people out and and sort of listen to your heart your own intuition um, there's this feeling here of just being so it's like you've had your wings clipped it's a sad energy it's a defeated energy I'm feeling I don't like it it's like you are just trapped You can't be who you're supposed to be. Oh, Aquarius, I'm sorry. Page of Cups in your consciousness. You may be a tad bit eccentric, especially compared to these people here. I really get the feeling that you are somebody who is very much intuitive and very... Um, 
emotional and somebody who is overflowing with love and that you're finding it very difficult to reconcile that like the, the love you have for humanity in your heart with whatever is going on here this feels like a very judgmental and harsh energy but you Aquarius I get the feeling you are somebody who is a gentle spirit full of love for every person on this planet um, you may be in love with someone that your family or your religion doesn't approve of. I do get the feeling that you are very conscious of the fact that you are different. That you are very conscious of the fact that you are far more intuitive. That you are very conscious of the fact that you don't agree with whatever this is down here in the higher front reversed. You just don't agree with it. It's not you. You're ready to be liberated. It's almost like you're living in the 1950s, but you are ready for the 1960s and the hippies and <laughs> the civil rights movement and free love and all that. You, 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 does that make sense? Like, you're living in this, like, very, like, buttoned-up sort of repressed environment when really you are like Janis Joplin. Like, <laughs> you're ready to go to, like, the Haight-Ashbury and just have the time of your life that's that's the feeling i'm getting here like you are someone who is just not jiving with whatever is going on here but you're afraid i think first of all this has caused you a lot of pain but you're afraid because i have a feeling a lot of your your security is tied up into it it could be that your family is is you know there are some denominations uh i hesitate to call them denominations that feels like too too soft a word but there are some religious groups where if you no longer believe or you leave they make your entire family shun you is that something that could be happening here are you afraid like capricorn i got the feeling capricorn was afraid of losing friends and family if they change their beliefs i get the feeling that that's happening here too aquarius ace of swords in your subconsciousness yeah i mean you 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 haven't come to this conclusion easily. Like, you've given this a lot of thought. You're not wrong here. What are you doing? Sorry, my dog had something. He's a little ornery sometimes. But him, I love boy. Um... Aquarius, I just think that you've really thought this through. I think you're sure of yourself. You're just afraid. But I think you know deep down, because you are very intuitive. I get that with the Page of Cups here. There's a lot of intuition there, and I get the feeling that you know that this is an untenable situation, that you, you, you need to leave whatever this is behind. Hmm. Oh, Aquarius. Yeah, you've, you've given this a lot of thought. You're more sure of your position than you realize, though. You're more certain. And I think you know that things are going to work out. The Ace of Swords is a very powerful card. It's air energy. It's your energy. Your subconscious, your intuition, your... I mean, it's just ready to... Um, to break out. So I don't know necessarily what it is that is holding you back other than a fear of like material loss. And that doesn't necessarily mean money. This could be family and friends as well. It's the earthly realm. It's the material plane. I don't know exactly what it is you're afraid of losing, but it's holding you back from pursuing a truth that deep down in your soul and your subconscious with this Ace of Swords, you know is the right way to go. You know right from wrong. And I just want to, I mean, air, air, air. We got a lot of swords here. This is, this is Aquarius energy coming through. Interestingly, in Capricorn's reading, I had a lot of earth energy coming through. I'm just going to say this. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. 
and Capricorn could be dealing with an Aquarius. I can't go back and, and, and change their reading, but uh, you could be dealing with Capricorn. I'm getting the feeling that these two readings are connected. Not maybe for everyone, but for a couple people, and it could be for me. I'm an Aquarius, and I've lately been dealing with a Capricorn. So I'm just going to throw that out there. I don't know what kind of beliefs I need to give up. I don't know what this is about. But <laughs> certainly for the collective, and, I, and I'll go back and I'll watch this again to see if, you know, once in a couple days when I've removed myself from it, if things make more sense for me. Um, but I don't know about for you, but it does feel like there's something that you need to walk away from and something you've already made your mind up about. You're just afraid of losing things. I don't know what that is. I do get the feeling that for some of you it is it is leaving behind a set of beliefs. So I'm getting religion, hardcore, but it could be political beliefs as well. Or it could be an organization that is imbued with a lot of tradition. The, again, like a fraternity or a sorority, that came up when I was reading Capricorn. So it could just be something like that. And you're afraid that you're going to lose your friends if you walk away from your fraternity or sorority sisters. Um, but there's something about the value system of your fraternity or sorority of this organization, you know, that just isn't jiving with you anymore. And you understand that. I, but I get the feeling it's more serious than like a fraternity or sorority or like the Elks Lodge or something. I think if this is religious or political... Let's keep going. What's your control over this situation? Ten of Cups. No, I'm sorry. Nine of Cups. Yeah, you've come into your own. You are confident that this is the right decision. I think you've already made your mind up. I think you might just click on this reading to get some confirmation from the universe. And if that's why you're here... If you are thinking about leaving some sort of belief system behind or some sort of institution or organization behind, I think that, that the universe is telling you you're on the right path. It's okay to do it. You're going to be fine. I, I think you already know that. Um, the Nine of Cups here is uh, just complete satisfaction. It's, I mean, look at him. He's so damn fat and happy, as I always say. He's very fat and happy, you know, and this is your energy. You're coming from a very honest, loving place it, it's a place of compassion it's a place of uh giving it's a place of I, I mean you're just in such a beautiful light here aquarius you just need to let your your light shine and whatever this situation is you know the sex magic card is about letting your light shine it's about letting go of inhibitions and whatever this situation here is you're it's dimming your light it's dimming your light internally and it's dimming the light that could shine to the rest of the world. So I need you to let that go. Outside influences. Yeah, okay. Uh, you might, yeah, I'm getting the feeling with this uh, Six of Pentacles here that there's definitely, first of all, people on your side that are willing to help you. So if you are deconstructing like a religious belief, there are, there are people out there. Uh, the Fundy Snark community came to mind Fundy Fridays uh, is a channel that you might want to look up. But there are people out there who are willing to help you leave this situation. Um, I also get the feeling, Aquarius, that you're afraid, though, of, of leaving it because there are good people in this institution and organization or whatever. You, you feel like you're going to be losing your community support. You feel like your, your entire community might be built around this, and you're afraid that you're going to be losing those people. And you know what? You might. That, that is, I think, a, a real possibility that you are going to lose some people along the way. But I think that the universe will go ahead and provide new people into your life uh, to fill the, the void there. But it is a real possibility. I don't want to sit here and say that it's all going to be sunshine and roses when I don't necessarily see that in the cards. What I'm seeing is that there are people who are willing to help you, but that there may be some people whose help you no longer have access to because they take it away. And you know what? That's If your help and love is conditional on me believing and thinking just like you, then you never really loved me. You loved obedience. You loved control. You didn't love me. They didn't love you. They loved controlling you. All right, let's keep going. 
your hopes and fears is the star. This is Aquarius energy. You're you're really hopeful. This is you you know. Aquarius, you know. You got to do this. You got to you got to do this. This is your intuition. I mean, you are stepping into exactly who you're meant to be. You know you have to leave this behind. You have to leave this behind. I think there's a really beautiful future out there for you when you walk away from this. I think you're finally going to get to be your authentic self in ways that you've never been able to be before. And my God, when you start to be your authentic self, I think that the world is just going to be a better place. I, I just, I think you're going to be so much happier. I think the people around you, I think you're going to be able to make a beautiful difference. I just think you have to let go of whatever inhibitions are holding you back. You know, you really... Look, I'm just going to say this. I said this to Capricorn as well, and I think that it, 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 I, I'm getting the same feeling here. I think someone is coming out of the closet. I think you are in an orthodox religious tradition that does not approve of homosexuality, that thinks it's sinful, and that you are beginning to realize that that is bullshit, and you are going to live out your authentic truth, no matter what this Knight of Swords here says, and whether or not you lose whoever this Six of Pentacles is. There will be other people out there. That's not going to be true for all of you, obviously, but I think it's true for at least one of you. And it was true for Capricorn, too. Maybe you and Capricorn are... <laughs> are meant to be together. Maybe y'all should fight each other in the comments. <laughs> oh, maybe I should rebrand this Appalachian matchmaker. <laughs> I'm sorry. It seems like this is a really serious situation, but I have to say that I do get the feeling, and I didn't get this with Capricorn's reading, that you're much sure of yourself. You're much more certain about this. You're ready to make this move. I really think you're just here for confirmation. I don't think you're here for guidance. I think you're just here for confirmation. And I think the confirmation's coming. Let's see what the final outcome is. Like, what's the most likely outcome here? Okay. The Eight of Wands. Reversed. It's going to move slow. It's not necessarily the card I would have liked to have had there, if I'm being honest with you, Aquarius. But um, this is a card of manifestation. But reversed, it's just things moving slow, of being sort of impatient, uh, of just waiting. I kind of get the feeling that in this position, with the rest of the reading being what it is, that this might be telling you that while things may move slowly, it's not going to be as bad as you think it is. People aren't going to walk away from you as much as you think they are. You may lose a few people, but you're not going to lose very many. Most people are going to be understanding, or at least, I mean, if not accepting, they're going to be quote-unquote tolerant. Um... I don't normally do this in these readings, but I'm going to pull out just a couple other cards to clarify this. Yeah, you got the world reversed, which is another card that came up in Capricorn's reading. Um, and which to me indicates that you're looking for personal closure that isn't there, um, that this cycle isn't is, is not complete. And then you have... The Five of Wands. Oh, the candle sizzled, yeah. Okay, the Five of Wands reversed, which is about avoiding conflict and respecting differences. Uh, yeah, I think that, okay, look, this cycle, you feel like this if you, you I, I, okay, okay, here we go. You feel like if you do this, if you leave this situation, this organization, this belief system behind, that you're going to lose everything and that there's going to be a lot of fighting. I don't actually think that's the case. I think that you believe that this is going to end a chapter of your life. I disagree with that. I think that this chapter is not yet over. I think that there are, there's still more to come here that the universe has yet to reveal. Things are going to move slower. 
than you maybe think they are. But I do think that a lot of the conflict you're expecting is not necessarily going to come. Now, it could for some of you, but I, I'm getting the feeling that for most of you, this is not going to be the disaster you think it's going to be. This is just going to be kind of like, oh, okay. You're going to be met with kind of like a shrug. You're not going to get the reaction you're expecting. Your mileage may vary. Trust your own intuition on this. Obviously, don't make any major life choices based off of one guy on YouTube doing a tarot reading for the collective. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of just getting like a, a sort of shrug is the feeling I'm getting. Like, all right, mom, dad, I'm gay. Cool. Hand me the remote. Like that kind of reaction. And it, you might not be coming out, but it is something that, like, that's like that. That you're afraid to tell people, but that people are actually going to be far more okay with than you think they are, you know? It might not be anything as serious as coming out as, as gay, but, I mean, it could be. But, you know, you're, it, whatever the situation is, I think you just need... My, my advice, based on this reading, would be just, just be honest and to let go of your inhibitions and to... Just do it. What's on the bottom of the deck here? Oh, yeah, the Four of Wands. What a beautiful card. Yeah, that's a happy life. Celebration, joy, harmony. Yeah, you're going to be fine. Everything's going to work out. You just have to be true to yourself, and you're not being true to yourself right now. You're living a lie, I get the feeling, of some sort of lie. And it's time to to end the, the charade and... Uh, Step into your own power and step into your own truth. Live your best life, Aquarius. Live your best life. Oh, what a way, what a beautiful way to end that reading. Let's go ahead and pull an Oracle of Adelphi card to wrap this reading up, Aquarius. Um, I don't know what it is the universe wants to say to us in conclusion, but we're about to find out. Alrighty. In the meantime, if you found this reading useful, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you think there's another Aquarius in your life who could use this message, please feel free to share this with a friend. Help us grow the channel. And I'm just really happy for you, Aquarius. It looks like things are going to work out, and you're going to get to live your authentic truth, and you're going to get to be yourself, and everyone should be able to be themselves, you know, without judgment or hate. And I'm really... I'm really thinking that that's, that's going to be the case for you. So well done. Okay, here we go. Oh, golly. Um, okay, you got two. What are they? Theater. Participate. Challenge. Co-create. Contend. Yeah, uh, to be honest, the first thing that came to my mind when I flipped this card over was... Um, like, stepping into a spotlight, being yourself, yeah, um, sort of dropping the character that you've been playing and taking off the mask as they're doing in the, in the card and showing your true face and who you truly are. Let's see what this one is. Oh. Messenger. Proclaim. Guide. Announce. Counsel. Yeah. You gotta tell the world who you really are. You gotta be authentic. You gotta be true to yourself. What? Oh, God. That old song from the movie Mulan. 98 Degrees sang it. I'm dating myself here. True to your heart. You must be true to your heart. That's when the heavens will part. And baby, shower you with my love. Open your eyes. Your heart can tell you no lies. But when you're true to your heart... Something. I don't remember the rest of the song. Anyway, look. Be true to your heart. Be true to your heart, Aquarius. Oh, this is beautiful. What a way to end this reading. I'm so happy for you. Whatever this is, I feel like your weight is going to be lifted off your shoulders soon and that you're finally going to be free to be yourself. And that is a beautiful thing to be because you are a beautiful divine being, Aquarius. And I love you and the universe loves you. And I have a feeling that the people in your life love you enough to accept you for who and what you are. Whatever this inhibition is, you need to let go of. Whether it is a relationship you're walking away from and you're afraid you're going to lose some friends 
because the Hierophant card can represent like marriage and, and, and that sort of thing. Although I, I get the feeling more it's like a belief system for y'all. Um, I, I, I do kind of get the feeling that you're walking away from something that is no longer serving you, but that the people who matter will remain. And that the people you are afraid that you're going to lose, most of them, maybe not all of them, this Knight of Swords energy is still kind of concerning me here. But um, I think most of them are going to, to be willing to... Um, support you as you walk a new path they may not want to go with you but they're going to support you so aquarius that's a beautiful way to end this reading um i hope you all got something out of this i love you very much my fellow aquarians and um hey uh maybe you know uh slide into capricorn's dms <laughs> and just be like hey looks like we're both having life-changing experiences and finally being ourselves Maybe we can do it together. I don't know. I don't know. I just get the feeling that for some of you, maybe just one of you, there's a Capricorn out there who is going through something similar and you two can maybe connect. And I'm not saying that you're going to end up married, but you may end up buddies and be able to help each other. So I don't know. If you've got a Capricorn in your life, you may just want to be like, hey, what are you going through? See if they're going through something similar. All right, Aquarius, take care and have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye-bye.